Hello and welcome to another vlog by me, Lawrence Grand from My Photos Forever. Uh, today I'd just like to give a quick insight to this uh, new uh, low pro swim bag that I bought. Um, I have been using the, uh, the the larger low pro bag. It's uh, the Sling Back. I think it's the Sling Back 200 uh, AW. Let's see. Here. here it is. The Slingshot 200 AW which I've been using for many years and this bag uh, usually uh, I keep my uh, Nikon DLSRs in so it's quite a handy bag, quite useful but I wanted something for the Fuji, the small mirrorless cameras that I'm using um, using today to uh, to do the video and everything um, now this is the bag that I bought I originally bought the KNF Concept sling bag around about £30 which uh, looked look lovely, looked look great on on the, on the web and everything. I got it and then I discovered that when you, a uh, very similar bag, but when, when you tried to get the camera out, this, this section here was padded so it was it's a full piece and then it had a zipper in this section so you zipped open that section there and then you try to get the camera out and I found that getting the camera out, getting it in, getting it out was pretty difficult and um, didn't like it particularly on that basis and also it, it had this bar and then it had another section here where it was opening again so you could, I think the idea was that you could either open it here and get your camera out or lay it down on the deck and unzip this section of it and get your camera out there but I didn't particularly like it probably because I was used to the other bag being open and you can get at it but also my main concern and I'll, I'll run through the quality of it in a minute but the main concern is that as you come down and you unzip it you get your camera out the only way that you can completely get it out like that is, is to lay it down which means that this is, is on your is on your chest isn't it so you wonder what, what, what's that about because when you get this and you swing it down you can open it get your camera out no problem and then open that fully and get, and get the whole camera out in one in one fell swoop you know I know it's deeper I know it's a deeper camera and this and this fits in better um, but I wanted something a little bit smaller uh, just uh, just because the camera is lighter as well but this this is perfect open it up grab the camera swing it round in front of you grab the camera no problem here you swing this round and it doesn't open and I think well what, what what's happening there surely 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 this should be cut out here round here and this should be full like the back of it and I guess I guess the only thing I can think of is that the thinking for security that this is on your back and no one can get at it whereas on the old 200 it's on your back and somebody could open it not that I've ever had anyone open it I mean you'd know if somebody's going to interfere with your bag um, I can't see anyone getting at it but this is possibly been designed for the security of, of being on your back and your camera is there and you can get at it. But the penalty of that is that you you open it up and you really can't get at it. And that's what you know you have to fold this through, I'll have to sort of bend that through and then it the wrong way around. I mean okay I have to come to terms with the fact that the camera is not that deep so it has to lay in that way whereas here it's, it's, it's laying on the on the front and basically it's laying it's laying like that isn't it and, uh, it's all it's all the wrong way around for me it's the wrong way around this should really be put into the other way around so that I can get at it uh, and I'm just wondering what other people would think about it now as regards to the bag, the size, it's compact, it's smaller, okay, it's got 
dice pod facility that this one doesn't have. Uh, there you can lay your tripods on, there's some sort of little bricklet handle there, you can put your tripod on there. You can put um, your little compartment here, which is an extra, well it's a similar to that. You can put in memory cards and attach your keys and a pen and whatever in there, so that's quite nice. And then the case, sorry the front case is there, similar to that is in here, I like the stitching, I like the colour, you've got a nice pocket here, another zipper in there for stuff you want to hide away, I've got my um, trigger and a flash gun in here, you've got another compartment in there, all nicely padded, whatever, even a handle on the front there, so you can just grab hold of it and carry it, and a hook if you wanted to put it on a hook, straps lovely, great strap, very comfortable, and it's got another another strap if you want to to whiz that round. I don't think I think this has one. Not that I've ever used it. No, it doesn't have it. It's got a clip. Oh yeah. Well, no, no, I don't think it has. Or may, maybe it has, but I never used it. Um, and this has got a clip so that when it's round your your shoulder here on the back, you can bring that round and clip it onto there, so you've got double the double the safety there so you know quality padding structure build quality great and um, it's just built the wrong way around and i think that that is a classic example of trying to re reinvent the wheel again where you've got something that's perfect i mean just put a little lock on it or a catch or a something you know that you could easily do to, to make it more secure but now they have to make it so that it seals on the back. I mean, I'm probably going to use it and everything and uh, get used to it, but it would just be a shame that, um, that it doesn't open the other way around. So, so there you have it. So I hope that's been a little bit of a help to, uh, to people considering buying a small sling bag. I mean, I love the idea of a sling bag. You know, I know people like the shoulder bags and they like to grab the camera out or whatever, but these slim bags they go over you can use both hands they're not going to slip over you you know I, the sling bags they don't have the same compartments I don't, I don't think they work the same way for me but this just slings it grab the thing take the photograph get it back in the bag and, and the, great, the great idea great idea is just that uh, I think low pro on this occasion have uh, tried to be a bit too clever maybe I will uh, take it up with them at some point Okay, hope it's been uh, helpful and anyone who wants to send me a, uh, uh, any, any comments or whatever, please do so. Uh, my, my email is uh, Lawrence, L-A-U-R-E-N-C-E, -E, at myphotosforever.co.uk. See you next time. Bye for now. Hi, it's Lawrence again from My Photos Forever. I just wanted a quick update uh, from the last video you've probably just seen. Um, so we had the uh, the low pro bag, which you know about, um, and my camera fits lovely. Uh, and then I bought the new low pro Edge 50. And uh, you know what? I was just, uh, as you saw by the other video, I just couldn't bring myself to to uh, to cope with the fact that this was opening from the back. And uh, it always looked like the camera, even if, even if I put it in there. It was always going to be the wrong way around when I took the camera out it was going to be lying the other way and it just doesn't suit me when I can grab hold of the camera so what I've done um, I had another research and I bought the uh, the newer bag this is the newer bag um, this is a, a sort of a copy if you like they're all copying each other a copying of the of the low pro um, this is uh, just wanted to show you but this opens up like the uh, the old, my old low pro bag, so there you have it. Um, very similar, just just a bit smaller, generally. Um, but opening this way and opening this way, this one comes in a nice purple, if you like it. They do them in. Uh, I think they have a a grey, and I think they do an orange, and I think they do a red inside. So um, let's just talk about this for a second. So um, zip down there it down there you can see there's the low pro one so that's sitting the other way around and what we've got here is 
it's over my shoulder. Okay, and I swing it back and there's my camera in there. And if I want to, and I want to lay it down like that, I can lay it down. My camera's facing the same way as this. In fact, just use this. This is obviously too big for the case, but literally it will sit in there like that um, and close. So it's exactly the same. It's probably the older design. Um, now, what this has got, um, it's got the flap the right way around, which I like. It's got a little pocket here for bits and pieces at the front. This one didn't didn't have one. It's got two straps for extra security. Um, it doesn't have the, the built-in rain cover in here, in the zip cover here. It doesn't have that. It has a rain cover supplied in a bag. There we go. And to be honest with you, I've never used a rain cover on that one. So I can't see me using it on this one. But it comes as a separate uh, item. This has... Uh, it has a bigger space here. It has a... It's a bigger... That is a bigger... Uh, it's a wider um, storage compartment. So that's better on the low pro, I must admit. The rain cover, obviously, better on, on the on the low pro. It's wider. And then what it's got, it's got one netting. This has got a space here. It's got a zip compartment in here, which is probably better. The whole build quality, we say the stitching and the way it's padded, is it, better on the low pro. Yes, it is better on the low pro. Um, this is not as solid. And certainly, when it comes to the inside, um, this is not as padded, and um, you just feel generally the, that the compartments are not as, as padded, and this cover here, definitely not as padded as that. You know, you can feel literally the thickness of that, so the stitching and everything is better on the Low Pro. Um, you know, it's a quality brand, 55, 60 pounds, this one, 26 pounds. You know, look at what you got for £26. You've got a couple of lenses in there. You can get the camera in there. You can close it. OK, it's not as padded as well. OK, that's a little issue, you know, but we're talking about the opening the way I want it to open. Uh, the back of it, you know, it's got some sort of breathable material there. It's got a protection there so that doesn't dig into your waist. Um, similar similar idea I think this one this one doesn't have that so it pulls on there and um, the handle on the low pro yes rubber handle much nicer the newer one yeah it's just a strap but probably won't use it I'll just just grab it occasionally from that but yeah that is quite a nice handle so I like to see that the tripod um, on the low pro uh, there is something on here you can put a tripod down the side of the I was going to say it's probably a bottle above it, but you can put your tripod down there and then just clip your, I guess this is an extending clip here, so you could clip round there. So generally, uh, it's been a bit of a struggle, to be honest with you, because I wanted something like this, the original, which I could probably still buy. They've changed the design to that, which is... Um, <coughs> which is, you know, understandably an improvement if you want it to open up from that way around. It is an improvement. Quality in the padding, definitely great, great, great. Um, I've come to this, and um, I think I've decided I'm going to keep this for the time being for what it costs, and then if I see something along my travels, I'll, you know, I'll review the situation. So sorry about that, Low Pro. I really wanted to stay with your, your products and everything, but... Um, you know, just don't just don't like the way it's opened. So I hope uh, this video has, has been of help, and uh, you feel feel that you agree with me or not agree. You know, drop me a line, let me know. Bye for now.